Shall we vlog a little bit? Got like 40 something percent battery because I didn't plug in my phone last night. <laughs> and depending on how much we want to talk and how many Pokemon we want to catch, <laughs> morning walks, am I right? Um, we'll see. I wanted to talk about the dream I had last night. It's one of those ones where like I need to write it down. Not because probably it was like it was like one of those books that you dream into like um, a Star Trek holodeck program. <laughs> um, the super sci-fi fantasy stuff and there was the most gorgeous horse. There was the most gorgeous horse. Apparently I was somewhere in time and space and I went to the library and that was all a different experience. Very different experience. And as I, it smells like bacon. Oh, it's a deer. Can you see it? Or is a deer just trotting up this way? So fun. Um, way different library experience. It was like, it was in this really fancy lobby, but it was like, I think maybe some of like the Bridgerton and Para Palace uh, dramas that I've been watching have kind of seeped their way magically into my, it's kind of like Doctor Who sort of stuff in these, I don't know what we're running from, why there's always something to run from or some body to keep secret from, but anyway, it's kind of what was happening and human relationships were happening, which was something else. One of these um, men in the dream that was really yummy, really yummy man, really well dressed, really, he's very, seemed very sensitive to me. And when I woke up, so you know, maybe you don't know, I'm Natalie, Lin I'm Natalie the Love, I'm a love and relationship coach talk about intimacy, increased intimacy, connection, all of this. But something that comes up quite a bit in just dating, all the dating stuff, is the difference between, know, knowing what the difference between chemistry and like real connection is, because this can be, this can get really confusing. Oh, there's a car waiting for a squirrel on the road. It's a really big, nope, it's a groundhog. It's a really big groundhog. There he goes. Did you know, I don't know if this is something that you do. It's kind of a fun thing. It's like a where's Waldo sort of thing. When you see different animals just out crossing your path, I love looking up like, what is the spiritual meaning of this creature? <laughs> like Ted Andrews books, where you get some kind of totem, mm, get some kind of totem write up about what is going on with, you probably saw this animal because, <laughs> sort of thing, kind of. For me, it feels like the whole world's a little bit more both magical, but also connected. So, a little caveat there. That's fun for you. What animals do you hear? What do you see? Who do you see? Don't make it like foreboding, but like, for fun, right? <laughs> okay, so yeah, back to intimacy. <laughs> Intimacy, intimacy and chemistry and connection. Does it all mean what you think it means? And probably it doesn't. And that can be such a disappointing love lifestyle lesson. Big disappointments is that just because you've got the chemistry doesn't mean you have the same values. No, 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 no. Something, um, so I don't, I don't like to go a whole video without talking about Rory Ray. 
I work very closely with Rory Ray. She's a relationship, connection, feminine energy genius. And it, it's just so awesome being able to be in her in her inner inner circle and just carry on the work that she's that she's that she's founded. So Rory, Rory, what would Rory say about this? What has Rory said about this is yes, well, chemistry isn't chemistry there is there's is a chemistry myth that happens like and we could talk about like oh well this guy I'm not attracted to him physically from a distance so if we don't have that upfront chemistry then it's not going to be the relationship I want and that's a myth but um this is the little tidbit that I wanted to share about what Rory's said about about chemistry and intimacy is like when so you know how there's a lot of there's a lot of talk about oh you should wait 90 days before you are physically intimate with a man that you're dating you know I, we're not going to go into the rules of any of that i like to go with what are you comfortable with what rules will you make for yourself and kind of put a line there <laughs> once you've got that let's let's talk about that first 90 days that first first 30 to 30 days the first one to four months generally there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of newness there's a lot of this um what we're twitter pated we're just we're, we're functioning on this extra stardust that we've got and then after that 90 days like physical intimacy will often be initiated to further forge that bond where I wish I, I wish I could give you the exact quote from Rory it was but essentially it's like more of this glue here to forge that relationship I'll look for it and we can we could talk about it <laughs> Let, share how, how you feel about all of this. If you've got rules for yourself, if you found this to be true for you, if you've found yourself feeling disappointed with a man who you thought you were on the same page and you felt so bonded to him, but yet you're like, why, why isn't he calling? Why isn't he texting? Why isn't he showing up? where is this man and yet you also feel like you have painted yourself in a corner or have been painted in a corner even worse right where you don't dare to talk to or flirt with entertain other men and that's a whole that's a whole other that's a whole other topic of conversation i'd like to have because that was another really important love lifestyle lesson is that commitment conversation. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm so glad that you're here. And hey, stay tuned for the, there is a masterclass. Rory's got a masterclass happening this Sunday, Sunday, October 13th, all about scripting, what to say to him. Say this to him. It's love words, love words, how to script, script your own love words to bring him close. So maybe I'll see you there.